Um, first of all, it's a, it a really hard fought game and I'm really proud of our team. Um, just sticking with it, just trying to find a way to get it done today. When we were um, having a hard time, you know, hitting some barrels, uh, the majority of that game, but um, tip my hat to Purdue. They played just as hard. Um, backer was good. Um, and then um, Wanzing came in, really good arm, worked out of that jam that I thought we were maybe going to break it open. Um, it's just a, a, a great game. And then, um, Tro um, yeah, Troy Viola. Viola made one of the best plays I think I've ever seen uh, at the end of that game. And um, he was kind of stuck in the crack. He couldn't get out. Uh, and, and Michael Seegers was able to take advantage and, and get the second. And, and Isaiah gets a two strike, two out knock to, to put us up. So, wow, what a great game. And uh, hopefully now we'll, we'll all take a deep breath and, and, and get back to playing Hawkeye baseball. With that, we'll have some questions for the students. Please raise your hand once called upon state the name and outlet. Darn Southern, Des Moines Redshirt. Isaiah, I think looking at the stats, nobody had more than two sacrifices all season. Um, but how much of that, you know, kind of reading the room and, and, you know, realizing how how that was going to kind of have to be how you, you put up runs today, how much did that, you know, when you put up those three and then everything after that kind of almost like a, a shooter seeing the ball go in, how much was that kind of a lift for the offense today? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was huge. I mean, sometimes... You know, you got to play small ball like that to get things going. And obviously, you know, yesterday against uh, Penn State, we were struggling to, you know, produce runs and get some hits. And we uh, we struggled early in the game today. So, you know, being able to, you know, bond and sacrifice guys over and just play the small game, uh, you know, that, I think that really opened up the, the offense for us. And I think that's going to uh, carry into tomorrow. Jordan McAuliffe at the Omaha World Herald. Isaiah, I heard you talking to Dana about it a little bit, but going into that last at bat, kind of walk me through the mindset for you. Yeah, I mean, when when I got on deck, I knew they were going to walk Keaton. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. He's one of the best hitters in the Big Ten, um, and I've been struggling to that point. So, you know, I really, you know, was excited. That's that's why you play the game. And, you know, I got I got behind 0-2 uh, right away, and then, you know, that last pitch, I kind of saw him uh, shake off and kind of smirk a little bit. and. I don't know why, but it just made me think that he was going to try to blow a fastball by me. So I just made sure to get on time for a fastball, you know, was able to put a good swing on it. Kyle Hughes on HawkeyeReport.com. Willie, you've kind of had an up and down season, dealt with some injuries. What does it mean to you to be able to come out uh, in a game that's, that you guys had to win to keep the, your tournament chances alive and get those last seven outs? Yeah, it means everything. Uh, yeah, like you said, I was dealing with a leg injury. And it was kind of the plan uh, halfway through the season to build back up. So. I'd be 100% uh, towards the postseason. The slider was working today, so yeah, I was, I'm glad it turned out this way. We are too. Will. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah, can you speak to just what were maybe the last 24 hours like coming into this game? You know, obviously a pretty deflating loss yesterday, and you know the the focus could have been anywhere. Um, how how much did that start? You know, before the game even started, the way that you guys responded as a team and then just came to the park, you know, ready, ready to go. Yeah, I mean, you try not to think about it. You try to, you know, flush the last game and, and worry about the next one. But I mean, it's definitely in the back of your minds a little bit uh, and you, you start to wonder about things. But, you know, I think this team's dealt with adversity all season long. And I think we just, you know, uh, we've been led by great captains all year. And, you know, our, our younger guys just stepped up and that was the case today. I think, you know, everyone played a, a huge part in, in our win today. And I think if we, you know, continue with that, we can uh, make a run at this tournament. Last question. For either one of you guys on this, you go back and forth throughout that game. There's lead changes. You're neck and neck for a while. Talk about the matchup against Purdue. What was difficult about it kind of throughout the day? Uh, yeah, I think I think their pitchers did a great job, but they weren't really giving us much free th much free bases. I think they were attacking the strike zone all day and you know making us really earn earn our runs and earn our hits. And I think that's what they did a good job of today. Thanks, students. You guys are good to go. Okay. We'll now take questions for the coach. Just, can you speak to, you know, kind of all the little things that happened late in the game, you know, the pickoff, the, the being able to tag up, um, you know, just working out of some jams late, you know, how all that kind of, Kind of is what you need right now when you're when you're trying to survive. Yeah, we, we did a great job the second half of that game executing. You know, minus the 
the, the one time we bunted it back to the pitcher and he got the force out, which, you know, uh, was, was a big play, but we overcame that. But um, like I said, we, we hadn't, we hadn't been swinging the bats the way we, we normally do. And, and um, you know, like they said, like Isaiah said, backer was really pounding the zone. We weren't getting anything free and um, we weren't, we weren't hitting many barrels and it was just, one of those days where you you just got to find a way to get it done and find a way to put runs on the board and uh, we executed it at a high level the pickoff um, off of the bunt play was was really big the timing was awesome and that's one of those plays that you practice all year long and you only use it two or three times a year but thank goodness you still practice it every every week and it paid off big time today and then um i'm just getting uh, like you said, Michael tagging on that play. I mean, that was that was that was that was really good, um, really savvy, um, really headsy off of the you know an amazing play by Biola. But you know he, he was trying like crazy to get out of there and he couldn't get up. You know, and and and, and Michael was able to get to second base and give us a chance to get a two out knock. And um, you know we did. It was one of those days where. Um, Dylan gave us a great start. I mean, he was really good. He makes one mistake, boom, home run. Hangs one slider in the first five innings and really the only hard contact till the fifth inning. And then, um, you know, we didn't make two plays that cost us runs. And, and generally in, the, in games like that, they, they come back and beat you. And today we were over, able to overcome that and uh, get in the wind call. I'm hoping we can just now take a deep breath and, and go back and, 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 and enjoy tomorrow. and, and hopefully stay here for a while and cause some trouble in the loser's bracket and play well. You talked about it a little there at the end. Yesterday you talked about inefficiency with the pitching staff. Just kind of curious your overall thoughts on the pitchers today. The pitchers today were great. You know, I mean, Dylan would tell you that the he's like, he and Butel are two best fielders. And obviously he played shortstop second base for us for the last two years. And he just peeked at the runner on a ball right at him and boom, missed it. And, um, that was really the only the only thing um, you know, disappointing today with the pitchers that we didn't we knew we had to go to Ben in that situation, but <clears throat> the two guys the two guys um, the one they hit the double and then the guy coming up I mean they they torched lefties and it just wasn't a great matchup and that's where we decided to go with uh, with with Will and his slider and and when his slider's on uh, I mean he's really hard to hit and today he was on and um, you know it's been a frustrating year. For, for Will and for us because we knew the potential and how much he could help us at the back end of the bullpen and not having him having to fight through that the majority of the season was tough. But um, man, he came out today and threw, you know three innings, two and a half innings, whatever it was, and, and was lights out. Was there any thought to go to someone else for the ninth inning or were you guys pretty set on Will? Um, what I was going to do um, was give him, if it happened in the first two batters, we were going to go to Schultz. Um, just because Schultz does a better job with the running game and um, does a better job of fielding position, his position, if you know Washington was up in a bunt situation, um, I just felt more comfortable with Schultz in uh, handling all the stuff around the mound. Uh, if if Will was to get a guy on early, if, if it had got the two outs, um, nobody on, and a, and a base hit or something, uh, probably would have stuck with him. Rick, I was the same thing I asked them. A, you go back and forth throughout the game. Talk about the compete on your guys' side, but also the Purdue matchup. What did you see over there? Um, just they were playing hard and um, tough outs and pitched really well today. You know, they gave us, um, what, three three free bases when Wanzen came in, and that helped us get going a little bit, mixed in with the, the bunts and the base run and the stuff that we were doing. Uh, but then he settled in and um, had a really good arm, good fastball, chase slider, and... Um, you know, was really good, and um, you know the the guy who came in, um, you know, late. Uh, he had threw quite a bit yesterday, so was hoping that you know he would he would be a little tired, but uh, he was solid as well. And um, you know, just Patty got a ground ball to find a hole with with two outs, but they pitched extremely well. Didn't make a miscue on defense, and and played a really good game. I thought we pitched them well, uh, you know, but dangerous. Was. Was offensive game plan coming into today to, to small ball to kind of manufacture stuff? Or? No, it really wasn't. We, we were hoping. We had some decent success against Backer back at home. Right. So we felt pretty good that we might be able to break out. Um, 
you know, with some just with some extra base hits, which would have been nice, but we did not. I mean, he had he had different plans, and he lived on the the corners and uh, did did a nice job, and uh, you know, a lot of weak contact for us when we did get a swing off, and um, just that was kind of a <laughs> doing this 35 years. We better figure something out here quick, or <laughs> we're in trouble. So <laughs> that's that was what that was. Do you kind of feel that you know putting those three up the way that you did? Like I said to Isaiah, kind of like a shooter seeing, seeing the ball go in the bucket, just, mm -hmm. you know, something that, that works. You know, how much do you feel like that can, you know, hopefully get the offense going? For well, that was, that was the plan and that was the hope. And, you know, it was, the hope was to do it the last couple of innings. But um, I think, I think um, you know, it's definitely going to give us some confidence. And it did today. Um, and um, hopefully we come out and, and we're a lot better offensively tomorrow. You know, it's just... You know, hitting hitting's funny and baseball's funny. It's it's like a it's like a faucet. It can go on and off just like that. You know, this past weekend uh, wasn't an issue, and and then you know the sat the Saturday game was kind of very similar to this. And um, you know, I think we'll get adjusted to playing at nine in the morning, and, and <laughs> maybe we'll um, you know we'll break out the sticks. You know, the last time we were here, we played the nine a.m. games in both games, both teams very similar. You know, and um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll happen. Thanks, Coach. Hey, thank you.